What's up you guys? Welcome back to the garage. Today we are actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and take a vacation and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to be going in the van. I already got everything on top. Got the baby stroller. I got coolers and everything's loaded in here. So I'm pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and head out on this journey and see where we end up. What's up you guys? We made it to our destination last night and it was pretty late. I needed to get stuff uploaded so I could cook before it got dark. Um, there was a bunch of raccoons that came out but they stood away from my area. Also, um, there was a big storm that hit all night long. Thunder, lightning, everything. And right now it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm waiting for the kids They're inside that place, that building behind me. They're taking showers and we're gonna head back to the campsite and start making breakfast. Back over here. I got the grill on. We're about to make some pork chops. We're gonna make some pork chops and we're gonna make uh, uh, some eggs for breakfast. But this is our campsite and also we also have that other campsite over there that's at, at that end. So we have two spots that we could go to back and forth. We got steaks, we got pork chops on this side, pork chops over here, a few steaks right there, some eggs. We need a strong breakfast to start this day. All right guys, so we went ahead and we repacked everything again and we are heading We are heading on our journey to a different spot. I fucking feel sick. I've been uh, puking and it's not a good feeling. My stomach hurts. I don't know if it was something that I ate or some kind of bacteria or something, but we're going to continue with our journey. There's no turning back now, and I'll see you guys at the next location.
just made it to our second campsite and this is definitely in the woods as you guys can see we got everything offloaded all the stuff and today I think we're just gonna go ahead um, get the fire going right here in the fire pit and I'm feeling a lot better now uh, I had some medicine get the grill Tell them what the medicine is. What medicine? No, tell them what it is. Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, so that way when he gets sick. Because... Michael. So check this out, you guys. Check out what I found back here. There's like a little path. There's a little path, and then it goes into like this really beautiful place back here. There's like a giant drop right here. Wow, there's a lot of trees that have fallen, a lot of branches. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and stop here. I don't know what else there could be down there. But, it's very nice out here. Really enjoying this little vacation that I'm taking. Just made it to a different location. This is on day like three or four. I don't know, I already lost track of the days, but we are headed to try to catch some fish. This is my equipment that I have. And let's see if uh, we catch something. We're gonna head right into that spot right over there. There's like a little path right here. Here we are, the Illinois River. this is a good spot see there's a lot of people way down there that are fishing so I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if we catch something this is what I'm gonna be using and hopefully I catch something with this I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on this hook right here Hopefully I do this right. I think this has to go like that. I'm not really a fisherman, but I try. I've been here for about two hours and I did not catch anything. I'm moving to a different spot. I don't know what's going on, if it's just me or what's going on, but 
I'm not catching anything. Did see a big fish jump over there. See the ripples. Now it feels heavy. Yeah? Yeah. I go ahead and toss it out the... Uh, try to get us to, to where those three ones can, like four to ten or a room if we can. Yeah. Right there? I don't want to break the line. That's so heavy. Mine is over there, wrapped up somewhere. Pull up a little bit farther. Go to a line. I'm in a whole completely different spot. We are two poles down, and I'm down to the little pole. That's the only thing that I have left to fish with. And I still haven't caught anything. So I didn't let it go, you let it go. The fish let it go. You don't have anything. That's good enough. Just toss it in. Just toss it in. So this is what happened to my reel. The whole thing flew off. It ended up in the water. And I was able to bring it back with this. But we're pretty much done for today. We're going to head back to the camp. And... I think tomorrow will be our last day and oh, yeah. we'll call it a, a week right there and head back home. Wow, can you imagine eating a taco of an eyeball? Ew. Look at that fly trying to get in its eye and he has to keep on winking it. I feel bad for that. Yeah, somebody's uploading some rounds. It feels like I'm back in Chicago. They stop now, but you're here in a second. So this is where we are. It's like a giant bathtub and it fills up with water and it lets the boat pass. 
from the high water to the low water or the opposite. Pretty cool. I see your eyes. Can we take this off or no? Right here, CBD. Yeah, CBD has got a canvas sleeve out the front. Oh. Oh. Let's own that motorcycle leather. No wonder there's a motorcycle dealership here. That's a blowout. That's it you guys, my journey has completely ended and I'm about to head back home. I got the wife and the kids and my father-in-law back in the van and we are about to start driving. See you guys when we get back to the garage. Back at the house, and I just offloaded everything out of the van. Pretty tired. I think we're gonna do laundry right now and get ready for the week. And I'm just glad that I'm home and I got the Civics right here to work on. And not only that, check this out all my cucumber plants are growing here non stop. But either way, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.